If you get finished with your cityscape, it might be fun to do a landscape. This time I'm going to make my three areas of value with a colored pencil. You can do this with any kind of colored pencil, um, as long as you can make it dark enough. So I might not choose something like yellow. Um, but if you don't have a colored pencil, it's fine to use a regular pencil for this too. I'm going to once again use the concept of atmospheric perspective, and this time I'm going to make a kind of forest. I'm going to make a, trees in the winter with no leaves on them. I'm going to start by making the outlines in the foreground. I think I'll make two trees in the foreground. But if you want to make something else, go for it. If you want to put animals in there or um, something else, go for it. It just will make your art better. When I'm done with um, my outlines, I'm going to add my darkest um, part of value in. I'm going to be pushing as hard as I can. We did this before in the cityscape. This time I'm only using color. Take your time and fill in the entire thing. I'm putting in an area for the ground too. I colored an area for the ground too in mine. Keep going until you filled in the whole thing. Remember this is your darkest value. So push hard as you're coloring it. After you're done filling in your darkest value, we're gonna start on your second layer of value. I'm gonna make trees again. I'm gonna make them kind of behind the other trees. I'm going to have um, some of their branches go behind the branches for the first set of um, trees. This is the darkest value set of trees. Just because that would make it look more realistic, like a real forest. I'm only going to add a couple trees. Remember, if you would like to add animals or something else like that, I am absolutely fine with that. Remember to add a small area for the ground also. And now I'm going to color those trees in with my medium value. We practiced making three different values on the last project. So if you'd, if you'd like to do that again, go for it. I'm not going to require it, though. After that, we're going to lay in a third layer of value. I'm going to do it the same as I did before. I'm going to put in the outline of the branches of the tree and I'm going to have some go behind other branches from the other tree. This um, overlap will help us get our illusion of depth that we're already getting from our aerial perspective. And there you go, an aerial perspective forest. You don't have to do just trees. You can add other stuff. That's up to you with your art. I just thought it would be nice if we use colored pencils to do some aerial perspective this time. I hope you enjoy it.